All right, final hour of the show. This guy has some uh, some news potentially on number four. Matt Miller was at uh, Ohio State's Pro Day yesterday. ESPN NFL Draft Analyst and Insider joining us right now on the Arizona Sports Line. Matt, thank you for the time. How's it going? Doing well, guys. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, how was it out there yesterday? What what was the, the response to Marvin Harrison Jr.? He was there, obviously, because you talked to him, but but not actually participating. <laughs> Yeah, you know, honestly, I, I talked to a lot of NFL teams before the Pro Day, I talked to several uh, at the Pro Day. There were not any head coaches or general managers there, but there were uh, a lot of teams uh, represented, obviously. And everyone I've talked to basically says, who cares, honestly? like, And I know that's like maybe not what a lot of people want to hear, but honestly, the vibe has been, what more do you need to see? And I think everyone is – It's this is a, a testament to how much – the NFL has changed in probably the last 10 years, definitely, but maybe even five years to where you got a lot of younger people in front office positions and in leadership roles. And I think they get it. You know, they, they look at this differently. Whereas when I started in this industry, it was, if you don't toe the line and do all the things that the NFL wants you to do, it's going to hurt your draft stock. That has changed markedly. You know, we can go back to Christian McCaffrey was the first guy to opt out of a bowl game. You know, and, and since then, it's kind of been this, this change of the players have leverage and they have power. And is the only time in the pre-draft process that they do have that power. And if you're a good player, you can be, you know, controlled by an NFL team for seven years as a first-round pick. So I actually applaud Marvin Harrison Jr. for saying this is how we're doing things. And if there are teams that aren't okay with that, then, you know, that's their decision, but this is how we're going to run the pre-draft process and, and see what happens. Yeah. For me, Maddie, um, I'm an old school guy. I am through and through right now. I just rather see somebody go out there and say, I'm going to, I'm going to work out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to compete. That's just me right here. Have you heard anybody has anybody voiced displeasure? that he's not actually doing a pro day or working out on a pro or the combine has anybody voice just people in the media and people and people on twitter that's it i have no one from an nfl team and here's you know what i could probably spend the next day texting everyone i know in the nfl and i would probably find someone who says yeah you know what we think it's kind of bs he needs to work out i'm gonna bet you that would be a team that is drafting in the 20s or 30s they would have no way to get him you know <laughs> and, and they're just like yeah it's, let's let's hurt his draft stock so maybe he falls into our lap you know i think one great thing about modern advances in football is we know how fast players are without ever watching them run a 40-yard dash you know we, there's so much to it and in fact Marvin Harrison Jr. ran 22.2 miles an hour last year. Uh, that's really good. And that's like, even you know better, that Matt. That's even better because right. it's exactly. during a game. Exactly. And, you know, to your point, like, you know, being old school, here's the thing. If you want to watch Marvin Harrison Jr. at a pro day, you can. It was at Ohio State last year when he caught passes for C.J. Stroud. So you can get that footage if you're an NFL team. If you really want to watch Marvin Harrison Jr. at a pro day, it's available. It was just in March of 2023. So it is it's definitely out there if, if teams need that. But I haven't heard from anybody that says, golly, we, we like him, but I think we'll take Malik Neighbors because we saw him work out in, in shorts and a T-shirt at a pro day. So how do you process Roma Dunze and what he's doing right now? Yeah, I think, you know, like scouting is a puzzle. And so for Rome, and I'm a huge fan of Rome. He's my number three overall player in the draft. He is my number two wide receiver. I, I think that is something that can certainly help him. I look at it this way of like not doing the, the combine and the pro day doesn't hurt Marvin Harrison Jr., but doing things like Roma Dunze has helps him. It, it helps his case, and it can, it can make a team fall in love with, you know, the, the drive and the competitiveness. Contrasting those guys, there's a lot that happens away from the, the cameras that, you know, I, I've talked to coaches at Ohio State who say, We've never had anyone work harder than Marvin Harrison Jr. And no, he's not advertising that, and he's not jumping in front of microphones to tell us that, but his coaches are vouching for him and telling us those things. So, you know, I think for Rome, it is he's handled this process beautifully, and he has definitely helped himself in the eyes of the media. Now we'll see if that matters to NFL teams or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But, mm-hmm. you know, Malik Neighbors also didn't participate in the Combine. I haven't heard anyone say anything about that. Uh, you know, and Jaden Daniels didn't participate in the combine and actually left the combine early. He wasn't there watching the quarterbacks throw like Caleb Williams was. 
No one has said anything about that. So I, I think it's interesting this year how people have decided to pick and choose which players are going to be criticized for participating and not participating and which, which guys are, are almost just getting a pass for it. We're talking to Matt Miller. Uh, Matt, so you, you spoke to Marvin Harrison Jr. yesterday. You also spoke to Marvin Harrison Sr. i got to be honest, I, don't, I haven't heard. I mostly spoke to Marvin Harrison Sr., let's be honest. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of where I was going with it. Were, did, yeah. were you expecting him to do most of the talking, and, and were you surprised by anything he said? I was expecting him to do most of the talking because I spoke to him the night before on the phone to set everything up. Um, I was shocked because, you know, I, I got into this business in 2011, so Marvin Harrison Sr. had already, you know, retired, but everything I've ever heard about him is that he's an incredibly intelligent but private man. And so I didn't expect him to call back the guy from ESPN and be like, yeah, we don't do interviews, but we'll do one. I was, I was shocked. And so, um, yeah, I, I was surprised. I was not surprised that Sr. wanted to do most of the talking because he wanted to lay out the plan. You know, and I, I think he has an ability to speak on, and that's what they call it, the plan, because he's an NFL Hall of Famer. You can say that when you are the guy, you know, who had that brilliant career. You can say, this is the way we're doing things. And it has a lot more credibility than if a 21-year-old says, hey, here's how I'm doing things. You know, so I, I think it, it, maybe it's strategic on their part, maybe it's not, but I think it's it's been wise of them to have senior kind of, spread the message and and you know it's just like how you know back in the day Archie Manning was the one talking not Eli and I, I think it's when it's coming for someone who's been down that road before it, it makes it a little bit easier for people to understand and accept it yeah so Matty do, would you say that Marvin Harrison senior is acting as junior's agent I don't know about agent but definitely as his you know, advocate and, and supervisor, you know, Marvin Harrison Jr. Does not have a registered agent with the NFL players right. association. Um, so, and that's okay. Like, that's fine. I actually think for a rookie contract, I don't know that you need an agent, you know, to be honest, I just, I don't know that you do in this day and age. So like, that's fine. You know, I'm sure he has a financial advisor. He, I'm sure he has a marketing coordinator. Right. You, you got people doing that stuff, but from the football side of things, some players need that. They need that advocate going to teams saying, did you see my guy's pro day? Here are his numbers. Here are his comps to players in the NFL. Here are his comps to other players in this draft class from a, a number standpoint. Some guys need that. Marvin Harrison Jr. does not need that. So I, I think that's why I don't want to say his dad's acting as his agent, but he's, he's definitely very involved in this process. He's acting like, as his dad, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. But, you know, Bryce Young's dad was that way last year. Caleb Williams dad's that way this year and you know I've Jackson Smith and Jigba's mom was that way last year like you know sometimes you get these parents who are like I I've been here from day one I want to make sure that someone's not taking advantage of my son at this this opportune time so you know and I have a 10 year old son who will not play in the NFL I guarantee it but if he were you know maybe maybe I would feel the same way we're talking to Matt Miller. Matt, I got to hit the uh, the the hard hitting question here. It uh, it appears you have uh, rescued a golden doodle. It doesn't seem like that was necessarily intentional while you were at pro day yesterday. <laughs> Do you have a name yet? Uh, the last name update I got from my wife was Chuck Norris. So I think that, <laughs> I think that's what's happening right now. Yeah, she. Uh, for people who don't follow me on Twitter, I left for Columbus, Ohio, uh, and yesterday at pro day I get a photo of. You know, someone in our neighborhood needed to rehome a six-month-old golden doodle, and and I, I believe that that rehome is now our home. So we'll, I'm anxious to get home on Sunday. I'll be at the Michigan Pro Day tomorrow. Anxious to get home Sunday and and meet young Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris, the golden doodle. This is awesome, Matt. Thank yeah. you so Matt, much, Matt. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you guys. Always a good time. All right, take care. That's uh, Matt Miller joining us right there on the uh, Arizona Sports Line. Um, that's interesting. A lot of actually what he said is interesting about Marvin Harrison Jr. and how he spoke a lot more to Marvin Harrison Sr. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.